It's going to be a serious winter up there, but also hopefully we'll see the northern lights and who knows what else. called Gillum now, which is about eight hours south by train from Churchill, but quite north of uh, Winnipeg, where it took off from. But the weather is not good in Churchill, and this was the layover, and we're not going to be able to get there today. So we said, whatever, we'll just hang here. It is the smallest town I've probably ever been in, or maybe the most remote. It's hard to say. Hoping to see some northern lights down here, maybe. It's no Churchill, but we're going to have to make it work. All right, hello from uh, sunny Gillum, Manitoba. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, we're heading out to see if we can scout some northern light spots, but it's minus 24. Feels like minus 36 though. Great. <laughs> this road is just like straight ice. <laughs> but we're seeing if we can scout a spot to see the northern lights. It's actually really beautiful here. There are Ooville trees with snow stuck to them and there's almost no one out here, which I, I like that kind of thing and just like fluffy white snow. It's not the worst place to get stuck. I think that there's a lot of really beautiful spots where we could potentially hopefully see the Northern Lights tonight. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? <laughs> I like that orange one the best. Super beautiful here. There's a river behind me that's frozen. And uh, do I have the Manitoba mascara? Absolutely. <laughs> Got a forest here, so if we see the lights, I think this is a good place to shoot them. My, oh my. My oh my, a kiss, and so I did. I think I look like a Yeti right now, but <laughs> the Northern Lights are amazing. We we just took a chance and drove out here. You could barely see anything. And then in the last hour, it's picked up like crazy. It's about 9.30 and I'm just amazed, amazed by what we're seeing. And despite the way I look, I'm comfortable in what I'm wearing, <laughs> but um, I can hardly blink. I think I have like five pounds of ice on each eyelash, but I'm stoked, I'm stoked. Oh my God. <laughs> I look like the abominable snowman. <laughs> Oh, full on ice cubes. What the heck? <laughs> that was so worth it though. Well, last night was one of the best Aurora shows of my life and was out there for like four hours photographing them. So good. Now I'm back at the airport, fingers crossed that we can get on the flight to Churchill, but the town of Gillum was awesome. People were so nice. The hotel, the Aurora Gardens, shout out to you guys. So it was all, all things considered, it turned out great. So, fingers crossed we get a good night in Churchill too. Finally made it to Churchill. <laughs> And our first activity is going to be dog sledding. And I've done this a few times before and they're definitely so excited to go always. That's the cool thing about it is you know that they really enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to doing it in the Arctic. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Dog sledding was awesome. It's always fun to hang out with dogs whenever possible. So I'm gonna go out on another Northern Lights hunting expedition tonight and the KP index looks really good. In fact, I can see the lights already. That's crazy. Because the sun's not even fully down and there they already are. So I'm very excited for tonight. I think we might get another spectacular show. I can't believe how lucky we're getting. <laughs> So after the dog run and seeing the faint lights at sunset, we're out here at a yurt and we are hoping to see some northern lights tonight. It's clouded up a little bit, which obviously you can't control the weather, but this yurt is super cool. It's in the middle of a boreal forest. So we have all these like Whoville trees and you don't have any light out here. There's no other people. So this is a really cool experience that you can book when you're out here. And then at least you don't have to be outside freezing all night. Come in and take a look. Caleb Ross of Nanook Operations, and this is his amazing yurt. Uh, the aurora season here has been growing year over year, um, but the majority of it has been these large uh, packages, and uh, which are an awesome product, but we really wanted to create something that was more an intimate uh, experience for independent travelers and photographers specifically. We wanted to come up and just come out and enjoy the wilderness and uh, you know we can help with the photography side of it our guides were photographers ourselves um, but yeah we wanted to just have a nice intimate location for for those people to also be able to come out and enjoy the normal lives yeah that's what's nice about it you can be an independent or a solo traveler and come do this and it's also pretty affordable you know we charge 129.95 a night it's pretty amazing it includes uh your transport we put on some nice wine and cheese and refreshments and uh, you know, we keep an eye on the sky and you stay nice and warm inside and we'll let you know when you can step out and see the lights. So you don't end up looking like a Yeti like I did <laughs> last night. <laughs> well, thanks. It's been an awesome experience. Yeah, you're very welcome. Well, well, good morning. We weren't as lucky with the northern lights last night. It was a bit cloudy, but so now the sun is rising and it's time to do one last Arctic adventure. And that is snowmobiling. <laughs> Tiffany, she's taking us out this morning. <laughs> and you're born and raised in Churchill, right? Yeah. Awesome. So she just started her company pretty recently. Yeah, like November 6th. What's the name of it? Beyond Boreal Expeditions. Beyond Boreal Expeditions. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go. What's the story on this ship here? Um, September 10th, 1960, it was coming from Rankin and it had a bunch of nickel concentrate and it was bringing it to the port of Churchill and there was a big storm. They had to anchor because it was too windy and the bay was just too wicked. So their anchor failed and it made them drift into Bird's Cove. It's very shallow so they I heard also they changed the name and you never changed the name of a ship or something like that. <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> I know I that the business name was the Ithaca Shipment Company. Okay. But. Crazy. Yeah. And now it's a dope place to ski do too.
my, oh my, my, oh my. A kiss, and so I did. Good times. Well, this has been an insane trip up experiencing the real Canadian winter and it's just been beautiful and really a lot of fun as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Definitely subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you next Wednesday.